Hello everyone. I am Captain Hemant Kulkarni. I have been in the Merchant Navy for uh, more than 40 years and uh, out of which uh, I think 27 years I worked as a captain so I have enough knowledge to share with you and in fact I think it is my second task or obligation to guide the youngsters so that they can make up their mind whether this profession is meant for them or not. So there have been a lot of changes in this profession and the way seafarers need to constantly undergo the training. So I will share all these things with you step by step and then you can make up your mind and decide whether this profession is meant for you or not. So, let's see now what Merchant Navy is all about. Merchant Navy involves transport of goods from one part of the world to another. To elaborate this, let's see. Suppose a car manufacturer in one part of the world makes his cars, he has produces the cars and they need to be transported and sold in another part of the world. So how do we do that? Is it possible by aircrafts? Yes, it is certainly but not economically. So this is where the ships play a major part and let's see even the bulk cargoes like grain, wheat, sugar, they need to be transported from one part of the world to another and Merchant Navy is the most, I mean the, the shipping industry or the ships, they are the most economical means of transport these things and when you join a Merchant Navy, you'll be handling these ships, taking care of this cargo, taking care of the cars, also they carry oil and whatever we can think of, electronics, whatever goods we can think of, all these things are carried by ships and this is all Merchant Navy about. So, can you imagine how many ships are doing this business? There are more than 45,000 ships trading across the oceans and carrying all these cargoes. So you can imagine the number of jobs that are available for the youngsters. And also, there are two types of uh, ships. I think cut, 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 can you guess how many ships are doing this transport of goods by sea? There are more than 45,000 ships trading across the oceans and carrying all sorts of goods. Now the ships are getting bigger and bigger and the number of staff sometimes is getting smaller and smaller. There are a lot of technological changes taking place. So we need to know all these things and you should be well prepared to consider joining this profession. Now, we'll briefly discuss what type of jobs are there on the ship. So basically ship, if you can see the structure of uh, staff on the ship, some are engineers who are taking care of all the machinery and the main engine of the ship and others are navigators. The navigators, they also take care of the cargo and so you have got two choices, you can become an engineer and go on the ship or you can take training in nautical science and then you can join as a navigator. If you join as an engineer, you have good chances of becoming the chief engineer on the ship who is in charge of all the machinery, equipment, refrigeration and whatever. And whereas if you join as a nautical uh, student, normally they join as a cadet. After 12th standard, you join as a cadet. And uh, then after about 15 years of sailing at sea, you can expect to be a captain. The captain is overall in charge of the ship. And then that's the way it is. You have got either decide whether you want to join as an engineer or a deck officer. Now briefly I will say, I will give you some guidelines for those who want to join this profession or they are considering the possibility of joining this profession. 
see for this profession you should be prepared to stay away from your family that's the main thing the most important thing i've seen a lot of youngsters joining this profession and within few months time they are just cried and cried and they are left the same gone back to their parents so you should be prepared to be staying alone and also you should be very friendly with the crowd and uh, which your type of national nationality crowd you meet you should be able to mix with them eat whatever food comes your way so if you are that type of uh, character then i think this profession is good for you otherwise it's very difficult because if you are fixed on certain food and certain people then it becomes very difficult at sea see the other important aspect of the merchant navy is that you need to stay on the ship for 6 months 8 months or at least 3 months when you become a senior officer in that case you should have that mental strength to stay away from the family and also you should be mixable with uh, any other nationalities because you are bound to sell these days the things are changing previously you used to have same nationality crew on all ships but now the things are changing you join in a ship you might get nationality from zambia nairobi china japan five six type of nationalities sailing together so you should have that mental strength and ability to mix with the crowd also you might get different types of food and if you still crave for your home food then it will be very difficult so you have to be very fond of different cultures mixing with people different type of food and things like that if you have in yourself then it's very good to be in this profession another aspect you should have the capacity for hard work because there are times when you hardly get any rest you are working for hours and hours you have no time even to look at the clock also sometimes in severe weather you cannot get sleep for up to a week the ships are shaking and rolling and so you have to be mentally strong physically strong and also a discipline and punctuality are other two aspects are very important in this profession you cannot be lazy and i'll do it later and I'll let's see we'll see what happens no this profession is about perfection discipline and punctuality otherwise it can create huge losses for the owner is always talking in terms of crores and millions and things like that the losses incurred by the owners and then you get one kick and you out finished so these things you ensure that you have this in yourself found this information interesting and useful then please subscribe to this channel by pressing the bell icon and make sure you get our next episode thank you